What's up, heavy metal and death metal world? This is Ryan from Minnesota, USA. I'm 37 years old and I've been collecting CDs for a while. I want to take you through my compact disc collection and give you some recommendations and hopefully I can read the comments and share some conversations where I can learn more too. Um, I have collected um, a whole bunch of CDs behind me and uh, they're mostly extreme metal. So I'm talking death metal, black metal classics, thrash metal of course, and there's also some uh, there's a bit of speed metal, power metal, um, traditional heavy metal in there. And uh, we're going to be alphabetizing and going through each letter with videos. So please subscribe to my videos and we're going to start with letter A today. I'm going to do my best to give a, just a brief summary of each release and then go through them. So here's an overview. What we've got is 20 columns of laser line CD cases that hold 60 CDs each. All my CDs are alphabetized. So here's something that we're talking about, something like that. So let's start with letter A. What we're going to do is uh, start off with this Aberrance Triumph and Blasphemy de demo from Brazil. Really great. Uh, check it out. This is Aberrance Classic Finish Death Metal. There's Smart Records release. I turned into a jewel case edition. Next we have uh, Swedish Death Metal Abhoth and their classic Forever to be Vanished Therein demo. Abigor is kind of blackened um, with uh, some keyboards in it. Knocked him an album. Abramelin from, from Australia. And uh, they have this uh, self-titled release that's worth checking out. Absu is uh, Texas, USA. Uh, band that w turned into black metal, but they started off with this Temple, Temples of Awful EP in 1992, and it's a great death metal release. Next we've got uh, classic German uh, speed metal, Accept, and here's uh, my Accept collection. Blood of the Nations is newer and an awesome release, um, and their classics are Balls to the Wall and Restless and Wild. Next is uh, American old school death metal called Accidental Suicide and their Deceased album. Uh, Adram Melek from <clears throat> Finland uh, released a classic Psychostasia album. This is the Extreme Records reissue. Here's an original press of Afflicted, classic and old school Swedish death metal called Prodigal Son. Next is uh, American underground band called Afterlife and their album is Serelity. After that we have um, kind of Bay Area um, um, thrash Metal, Agent Steel. Here's their uh, Skeptic's Apocalypse. Agonize Demo from uh, 1991. This is uh, Finnish. Next, I love the French band Aggressor. And I actually have an original copy of Never End Destiny, which is like this. Just outrageous thrash and death metal. Here's their demos release, which I wasn't quite satisfied with, so I went ahead and manufactured a couple of the other ones that I really like, such as their Satan Sodomy and Merciless Onslaught demo. Algol is a Norwegian uh, death metal old school. The priests are laughing demo. Check it out. Alter, Swedish No Flesh Shall Be Spared demo. Amboss is an actual uh, CDR. This, you'll know, it says a blue cover, and I... Uh, it, it, I'm a I'm a new fan to this band and have been unable to purchase that album. It's one of the very uh, rare ones that I actually have in my collection that I don't have the original press of. This um, Amon is uh, from Switzerland. This is a really killer death metal release. So what I've got is um, a, uh, it's a promo. So it was kind of cover and CD only, and then I made my own with the rest of it here. I love the band Amorphous from Finland, like you guys do too, and I strongly suggest their chapters, Elegy, Black Winter Day EP, Tales from the Thousand Lakes, and The Privilege of Evil is really cool, old school, extra heavy stuff right here. And then their first LP was the Caroline Isthmus. This copy I've had around since about 1993. So, 20, 24 years of uh, listening to the Caroline Isthmus. And Acrucis is a band that everyone should get familiar with. Their Manic Impressions here, and their Suffering Hour album looks like this. Anacrusis. Really great vocal talent. Angel Corpse is uh, one of the very first and the best uh, black and death metal. Um, with their Exterminate album here, I think they kind of uh, really set the standards along with Marduk 
for uh, great black and death metal. I strongly suggest buying Angel Corpse Exterminate and the Hammer of Gods. Angus is kind of new to me. It's uh, awesome heavy metal. And this one is a double CD called uh, Track of Doom and Warrior of the World. Next we have New Wave of British Heavy Metal Angel Witch. Annihilator's uh, Thrash Metal, Alice in Hell, Never Never Land. Uh, amazing guitar work, of course. And this one's a cool one that you can find on, the, on YouTube. Welcome to Your Death Demo, 1985. Next up, we've got some Anthrax and their classic albums, which set them into the big four, along with um, Early Overkill and uh, Exodus and Megadeth and Slayer. <clears throat> um... Here's their fistful of metal. Here's Antichrist, which is a uh, kind of a uh, a new, a brand new black and death metal band from <clears throat> Sweden. Antichrist, Forbidden World. Take a look at that one. Apostasy is a uh, an LP that came out originally on cassette only, I believe, and this is a really cool one called Sunset of the End. Arachnid. This is a reissue. And you'll want to listen to that. Just awesome screaming vocals on this one. Archgoat of Finland put out their Horror of Bethlehem album, which is one of the best war metal CDs. They have an unreleased LP called Hymn to Darkness. The original pressing of this Arcturus is what you want. They have a reissue that doesn't sound near as good. <clears throat> Armored Saint with... Um, a classic uh, Anthrax vocalist who uh, is original band. So here's Delirious Nomad and March of the Saint. Okay, next we have uh, Artillery. Really sweet thrash metal. Great, great thrash. Okay, Ascended is a uh, an EP from Finland, kind of new stuff. Uh, Asphyx and their newer albums. And then their classic old school death metal right here is a must-have. Crush the Cenotaph EP, their Demo 91, Embrace the Death had a different vocalist and is their earliest recordings. Next up we have um, uh, one of the best grindcore that I ever heard is A Suck from Florida and their Anti-Capital and Misery Index are a must-own. Atavisma, Where the Wolves Once Dwelled, is a, um, a demo from France. Next up we have uh, classic old school death metal atheist, really got on the technical side along with the band Death, and they shared some members as well. Atrophy is old school thrash metal. Here we have Atrocity, their classic death metal uh, hallucinations, and a new record that's really, really cool is uh, Atlantis. Atrocity Atlantis. Uh, Attack <clears throat> is German speed metal, and a prime example of how speed metal should be done. Destinies of War is an incredible album. Speaking of incredible, Attacker, The Second Coming is another really good one. Here's my At The Gates collection, the new album, the classic uh, here, and then their old school stuff including Grotesque. Next up we have Autopsy and a must own if you're into death metal at all dudes. Here is their Awakened by Gore which is the only remastered demos. Uh, direct continuation of Scream Bloody Gore where Reifert went off and, and uh, created his own uh, autopsy band. And then A looks like it concludes with Ara Noir, which is a black thrash attack, and that's precisely what it is. It's a blackened thrash attack. <clears throat>